Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we've got another little button animation for you today. What we're going to do is when we hover over this button it's going to change color and it's going to grow and it's going to have a little box shadow behind it. A bit like it's lifting off the page some. Just like that. It's really easy to do. We're going to write one tiny little line of CSS to help this happen today. Don't let that put you off though. Any CSS I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'm just going to add a new module here. Like I say, we're just using the onboard modules of the Divi theme today. So I'm just going to add a simple button. Now the reason mine's purple and when I hover over it, it's blue. That's the way I've got it set up in my theme customizer. But you can totally customize this within the actual module itself. So simply put in whatever you want it to say. Right there. Now most buttons need a link. To get it to link to somewhere, just simply put your link in here. If you're linking to your own site, I'd leave it in the same window. If you're linking off-site to a different site somewhere, I'd open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Okay, let's move on to our design tab. First thing is the alignment. Right now it's on the left. Um, I think I want mine in the middle, but that's entirely up to you. So I'll just hit the middle there. You can put it on the right if you want to. Text is absolutely fine. Now on the button tab, this is where I said you can completely restyle your button to be anything you want here. So let's go ahead and flip that to on. I'm going to leave this text size and text color and font and everything just as it is. I'm going to change the background to red. And I'll do the same thing for the border, just below. Now to set the hover color, we hover over the dark writing of button background or any of them which is common to most TV modules you'll find a little arrow if there's a hover state it'll have that little arrow you can push it you get a desktop when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it so when we hover on it let's change it to purple and we'll do similar for the border below so for the border on hover we want that to be purple there we go, perfect. Okay, so we've set our hover colors on hover. Now we've set our colors to change on hover. Uh, when we hover, there's a little icon there. You can choose your icon from Elegant Themes icon here. There's plenty of them. Or you can choose to show it all the time with this little switch down below here. Or you can choose to show it not at all by turning this off, which is what I'm going to do. I don't particularly want an icon today. Great. So we've got our color changing going, but now I want it to grow. And when it grows, I want to have a little box shadow underneath. So it looks a bit like it's lifting off the page. So let's go down to our transform. And we're going to use this first one, transform scale today. And again, we'll get the two states up, little arrow right there. Desktop wants to stay just as it is. When we hover over it, let's make it 120. We've got a little chain there, so if I do one of these, it'll do both of them. There we go, so that's made it a bit bigger there. I mean, you can go crazy if you want to, but that's going to work for me. Okay, so we've got it growing when we hover over it, but I want to put a box shadow. If we go up to box shadow here, Unfortunately, with box shadow, there's no little arrow, so you can't set a hover state. So if you put one on, it's going to be there for both. And I only want mine to be there when they hover on it. So let's write our own code for this. And like I say, I'll put this down below and you're welcome to copy it and use it if you wish. So I'm going to go to advanced and then go down to custom CSS. And the main element here. If you hover over it, you notice we have got a little arrow. So I can write some custom CSS. It will just be applied for when we hover over it. So let's get on the hover state. And let's just add some box shadow CSS. So it's box dash shadow. And what I want, I want five picks left and right, 
five picks up and down let's make it say 12 picks spread and a color of 777 which is a sort of dark gray as you can see it's now got that box shadow around there and if I flip the desktop mode it disappears so it almost looks like the buttons coming towards us changing color and lifting off the page with that little box shadow there so I'll make sure I put a little semicolon after that bit of code there okay and the default time it takes transition wise to go from the red to the purple by default is 300 milliseconds if I close up our custom CSS and go down to transitions there's the default 300 mils I'm gonna make mine about half a second for a drama so that's 500 milliseconds don't want any delay I want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse over it and the speed curve I like to use is ease in and ease out they're all slightly different so try them out um, different ones work better in different situations the one I like to use is that ease in ease out that way you take your mouse off of it, it just eases back out again which I like so if we've done this correctly it should work perfectly now so let's save our changes we'll save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder so let's go down and there's our button in regular state when we hover over it there we go it turns purple grows and it's got a box shadow kind of like it's lifting off of the page there really simple but effective little trick right there so I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.